Okay, now the next option under the path menu is exclude, and I think you're going to be using this one a lot. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a SVG file from svgcuts.com. Now these files come from a kit called Sweet Treat Bags, and you'll notice here I can put this on the mat, and basically what we have is a rectangle with a heart cut out of it. Okay, so let's say that we want to take the template for a blank bag, which we have here, and we want to cut a custom item out of it, okay, like an SVG file from somewhere else or from a different set. So we've got the bag on our mat, and actually I'm going to go over here to the Shapes Library, and I'm going to pull something out of the Fall Shapes Library, like this leaf. Okay, I'm going to click on the leaf, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to place it about here. Okay, now take a look here. So we've got it where we want it. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. And now I'm going to highlight both of these, or I can just right click on the mat and go to Select All. And I'm going to go to Path, and I'm going to click Exclude. Now check that out. It basically took one object and excluded it from the other. So it basically cut it out for you. Okay, now we can actually zoom in and take a look at this a little bit closer. There you go, look at that. So we've basically taken a template for a treat bag and we've added our own element to it. Okay, now you can do this with all kinds of stuff. Let me show you another example here. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna go back to the heart. Okay, so I'm gonna place a heart on here and I'm gonna place another heart here. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is highlight both of these, and I'm going to go to Path, and I'm going to union these. Okay, so I'm going to basically fuse them together as one, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now, I'm going to take and find a really nice font. Okay, I like this one here, and I'm going to just begin typing. I'm going to type the word love. Okay, and I'm going to make it about this big. Place it right here. And now I'm going to select all, and I'm going to go to path, and I'm going to click exclude. Now check that out. It just cut the word love out of a heart. Okay, so this exclude option is really cool. Now keep in mind that the exclude will only work with two elements at a time. Okay, now notice, so we have one element here because it's all one piece now. So as you can see here, after we apply the exclude function, it basically takes the word love and the heart and combines it into one element. These are no longer individual elements that can be edited separately. Okay, it's all one object now. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and bring in another heart, and I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to bring in one more heart and put it right here. Okay, now if we highlight all of these, you'll notice that under Path, we can't exclude it, okay? You can only do it with two objects, and right now we have three objects selected. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move this one out of the way temporarily, and we can't do a Select All because that will select three objects. But if we just highlight these two, and then go to Path, Exclude, look at that. Now we've taken the element to a whole new level. We've punched out another heart within the heart. Okay, so now we can bring this guy back, put him down here, and draw a box around these two. Or, now that we've only got two elements, we can go and select all, go to path, and exclude. So there's another heart. Okay, I kind of don't like that as much, so I'm just going to undo it, or control Z. And I'm just going to move this out of the way, and get rid of this heart. Now look at that, isn't that a really cool looking Valentine's or anniversary type element that you can cut out that you basically made yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with a fresh mat here. And I'm going to place another heart on my mat. Okay, and I'm going to place one more heart on my mat. And I'm going to put them side by side like this. Okay, so with these two elements highlighted, if I click on Path and select the Front minus Back option, what it's going to do is it's going to take this object that's in front, and I can specify that it's in front by going to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. 
Okay, now that automatically makes this one in the back because there's only two elements. But just to be sure, I can click on Object, Arrange, and Send to Back. Okay, so now this object's in back, this object's in front, and if I highlight both of them and go to Path, and if I click on Front minus Back, what it's going to do is it's going to keep the object that's in front, but it's going to subtract the part that's in back. So watch what happens. Okay, so the object that was behind it was subtracted from the object that was in front. So the path, front minus back, and the back minus front options are just going to take a little bit of practice. And if you don't get it right the first time, just remember, you can always go to Edit, Undo, okay, and highlight them again, and try the other option if the other option is what you're looking for. But basically, what it's going to do is it's going to take one element and subtract that from the other element. So let me show you again. I'm going to highlight both of these, go to Path, and do a front minus back. So the object that was behind the front object was subtracted from that front object, okay? So let me show you another example of how this is pretty useful. We can throw a circle on here, okay? And we can take another circle. Let's say we want to make a cool looking moon. Okay, well, look at this overlapped part here. Okay, you can see what we've got going here. And this is the part that I'm interested in here. Actually make it a little bit smaller so it looks like a moon. Now this part here, I'm going to go Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. This object, Arrange, send it to the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click Path, and I want the front part minus the back part. Okay, so watch, look at that. Now I've got a nice moon shape, okay? Okay, the final item that you'll notice under the Path section is called Reverse Path. Now when we talk about paths, what we're talking about is any element on the mat, whether it be a font or an SVG file or a library file. Well, each of those elements is made up by a series of nodes, kind of like a connect the dot type of thing. Okay, and those nodes are in a specific order. Well, what this does is it reverses that order. This is something that you're probably not going to use very often, but if you find the need to do that, you have the option to do it here.